The Harvard Center for Green Buildings and Cities has retrofitted its headquarters, a building originally constructed in 1924, into an ambitious living laboratory. House Zero is also a prototype for ultra-efficiency with four main performance goals. 100% daylight autonomy, 100% natural ventilation, almost zero energy for heating and cooling, and zero carbon emissions, including embodied energy and materials. The building envelope was optimized to improve insulation and air tightness levels, while new and enlarged windows and skylights provide additional ventilation and maximize the use of daylight. As a result, the need for electric lighting has been radically reduced, allowing the structure to achieve 100% daylight autonomy. In an effort to use 100% natural ventilation, House Zero employs a window actuation system, which uses software informed by room sensors to automatically open and close windows, inducing air through cross ventilation and convection flows. This maintains the comfort and quality of the internal environment. In the lower level, a solar vent will instigate buoyancy-driven natural ventilation, drawing air through the basement event space and up and out the chimney. Additionally, mass has been added to the timber frame building to enhance its thermal inertia, allowing the building to smoothly buffer swings in local temperature. By employing algorithms informed by hundreds of sensors, House Zero is able to optimize ventilation in relation to its mass and reduce the need for building systems almost entirely. In extreme weather, a ground source heat pump will channel naturally heated or cooled water into the house, where it runs through the radiant floor slabs to help regulate temperatures. Photovoltaic panels on the roof provide renewable energy for the heat pump and equipment within the house. The production surplus can be fed back into the grid to help offset carbon emissions, including embodied energy and materials. The building, which doubles as a one-of-a-kind laboratory, houses hundreds of sensors that collect millions of data points each day. Some sensors are for operational purposes, while others will allow the center to research, test, and better understand complex building behavior. House Zero also includes a flexible, highly monitored experimental space that is hardwired to the building's energy exchange system. The space will allow for the testing, swapping, and optimization of current and future technologies. By creating both a prototype and an infrastructure for long-term research, the Center for Green Buildings and Cities hopes to raise interest in ultra-efficient retrofits and inspire substantial shifts in the design and operation of buildings.